hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is tessie and today we'll be learning how to make this lovely cow neck top it is a very simple tutorial let's get right into it so you need your back pattern as you can see i have my back pattern and i have my shoulder line my armhole my bust point my waist and my top length so for my back neckline i'm using three by two inches so I came down by 2 inches and for the shoulder slope I came down by 1 inches and I just curved my armhole. And on that bust point I divided my bust measurement by 4 plus 2 inches sewing allowance. On the waistline as well my waist measurement plus 2 inches. On the top length I divided my hip measurement plus 2 inches sewing allowance. After which I shaped it out. So what I'll be doing next is cutting out the neckline. So guys as you can see i have my back pattern ready so what i'll be doing next is placing my pattern paper on my fabric and i'll be cutting out the back so i'm working with a silk fabric and i'm using two yards so i'll go ahead to place my pattern on my fabric and i'll be cutting it out after cutting it out we are done with the back pattern now for the front pattern what i'll be doing is on that bust point line i'm just going to slant it straight down to the armhole line using my ruler just watch what i'm doing i'll be slanting from that point down to the armhole line so what i'll be doing next is just slashing so i'll slash it to the armhole but i won't get to the end of the arm i'll just stop somewhere there so as you can see this is what i have so what i'll be doing now is folding my fabric into two and i'll be placing my pattern paper on my fabric so after placing it this way the more you open up this area the more the drape you get on that neckline so if you want more drape you go ahead to open it up more so what I'll be doing now is just placing mine this way and I'll check what I have. I have 10 inches. 10 inches is fine. You can use 12. You can use 15. It all depends on your preference. So I'll be using 10 for mine. So I've gone ahead to pin it down. So what I'll be doing now is on this neckline part, I'm just going to rule a line straight down. From that part, you rule a line straight down. Just watch what I'm doing. From that neckline part, I'm just going to rule a line straight down. So after ruling the line, I'm just going to rule the shoulder line just like this. And what I'll be doing next is sketching my pattern on my fabric. So after which I went ahead to cut it out. So after cutting it out, I'll go ahead now to take out my pin. I mistakenly cut that part, but it's fine. So before cutting it out, what I'll be doing is notching that neckline part. It is very important you notch to know where your neckline ends. So I went ahead to notch and I took out the pins. So as you can see, this is what I have for the front pattern. This is what it looks like. So now you can see I have my front and I have my back as well. So as you can see the notched part on that front line, you place it on the back and you place the other part on the back as well. The other notched area, you place it on the back and we are going to stitch. But before stitching, I'll cut facing for each of them. So for my front facing, I folded my fabric into two and I placed my front on it just like this. I went ahead to cut and I'll be stopping somewhere around the armhole line. So what I did was notch the lining as well. You notch your front lining as well. It is very important to do that. So after notching, this is what I have. As you can see, I'll go ahead now to stitch from that notched part, I'll be stitching straight down to the other notched parts. 
after stitching i'm just going to turn it just like this so now for the back pattern you can go ahead to use your bias to pipe it but i'll be using my material as the bias so what i'll do is place it on that front part and i'm just going to stitch and turn it to the back so after stitching the back pattern and also stitching the front pattern this is what it looks like so what i'll be doing is placing the notched parts on that front area to the back pattern just like this you place the other notched parts on the back pattern and you go ahead to stitch half an inch on both sides so i'll go ahead to stitch after stitching half an inch on both sides this is what i have as you can see so for my sleeve i'm just making do with what i have so i folded the fabric into two this is for one sleeve and i just notched the middle part of the fabric so you can use any sleeve that you want so after notching what i'll be doing next is placing that notched part on the middle part of the fabric and i'm just going to create a little pleat on that part till it gets to the end of the armhole i'm also going to do the same thing for the other end so guys as you can see what i did next is add elastic on my sleeve i added elastic on the boat sleeve and i also shaped my top and this is the final result i love this top as you can see i'm dancing <laughs> So hope this tutorial was helpful. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next class. For now, I'll say bye.